Bugglebot's finally finales, Robotle Wars burns on, and it's a new baby, all this week in Robot Combat. This week in Robots Combat, the new show all about robots combat worldwide and in most weight classes as well. This week we have seven stories as usual, so let us begin. Yes, we start with Bugglebots and the Whiteboards, the special final episode of the series. We started with the Wedges vs Spinners fight. Four of the Wedges go against four of the Spinners to see which is the ultimate weapon, and this time the ultimate weapon was the Wedge. as. Rev 2 was finally beaten by Sir Lancer Frog. A very closely fought battle and very well deserved. Then we had the saw melee between Maximum Overdrive and Nightingale and Thunderchild, who was also there for some reason. Maximum Overdrive and Nightingale did team up at one point, but then turned on one another and Thunderchild took advantage and beat both of them. Well done to them. Next up was the Rev Rumble between Shane Lale and Tim Rackley with Saw Loser going against the Berg. It was an interesting fight, if you can call it a fight. The judges called it a dance, and it turned to be the Berg who finally won the fight. And a fight, much to the horror of the team who tried to wrestle Tim. Bad idea. Lastly was the boss battle between Featherweight, Crabsolutely Clawful and six of the toughest robots in the competition. Probably, maybe not. The Crab Smashers. It was a bit of a trouncing. They did manage to remove the top of the crab, but unfortunately were all defeated in the end. I'd like to give my thanks to the team behind Bugglebots. It was a fantastic spectacle, and I'm very happy to report that Bugglebots will be returning in 2019. You can apply now. Also go and support them by donating, going to their shop and buying some merch, or sponsoring them. Next, there's been a robotic birth. Yes, a new giant nut has been born. And BattleBots had this to say, look what Bob McGee's Machining Co. Inc. gave birth to yesterday, a happy, healthy giant nut. The only sad part is this baby has no parent and is up for adoption. Any takers? Well, BattleBots looks to be in full swing as the team behind it have now created it into a full event. Given it a write-up, this is pretty much definitely confirming we have a new series of BattleBots and there is a full write-up of this new series on the Facebook page, so go and check that out. A little description of what is to come. Very good fun in all. Next, we return back to Toy Fair, where we now have some better images of the Build Your Own Endgame BattleBot, the Vex Snappers pack, the sort of construction kit that Vex do. It looks absolutely amazing, looks exactly like Endgame, and will be a push-along one that will be released later in the year. Looking forward to this one. And staying with Vex, there is a Vex competition this weekend that Team Apollo are judging on. This has been taking place on Sunday only, I believe. And uh, yeah, just interesting to see Team Apollo doing something fun. Next up, Mechatron's the team behind such robots as Deator and Nemesis have announced a new robot fighting show in Ireland. It will be taking place from May the 31st to June the 3rd, that's Friday to Monday, and excitingly, the Extreme Robots team will be there in full force to take part in the action. Now we turn to YouTube, where Anderson9132, the Robot Wars guru, has started a brand new series of how to build models, starting with Dutch Robot Gravity. And all the instructions and everything you'll need is over on that video, so go and check out his channel. Also this week, the Good Robotal Boys have been making more episodes of Robotal Wars. Two new episodes aired this week, Heats C and D of their current series. So do go and check out Good Robotal and Robotal Wars for all of your RWA robot action. Lastly, news from the world of Woodrow itself. There is a new podcast coming titled Judge's Decision, The Robot Fantasy League, where myself and Anderson9132 will be taking robots from Modern Robot Wars, BattleBots, and King of Bots, putting them up against each other, talking about who would win in certain scenarios. We're still in the planning stages, and there will be more news on when this will be coming out very soon. Bit of a YouTube takeover this week. What do we think of all the stories? Good Robotal? Do you like their series? Do you like the new robot build on Anderson's channel? Are you excited for our new podcast type thing that's going to be on this channel? Give your thoughts and opinions in the comments below on those and all the other stories from today. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.
Bye-bye.